Father, of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Good morning to each and every one of you. Good morning, Father. How are you? Fine, things. Today, in a special way, we give glory and honor to our Heavenly Father for making it possible that we may gather in this manner. Brethren, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred history. Let's go, Papa. 
graciously upon your beloved daughters that those who believe in Christ may receive an, an everlasting inheritance through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unit of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. A reading from the book of Ecclesiastes. Rejoice, O young man, in your youth, and let your heart cheer you in the days of your youth. Walk in the ways of your heart and the sight of your eyes. But know that, for all these things, God will bring you into judgment. Remove vexation from your mind and put away pain from your body. For youth and the dawn of life are vanity. Remember also your Creator in the days of your youth. Remember also your Creator in the days of the youth, before the evil days come and the years draw nigh, when you say, I have no pleasure in them, before the sun and the light and the moon and the stars attack you, and the clouds return after the rain, in the day when the keepers of the house tremble and the strong men are bent, and the grinders cease because they are few, and those that look through the windows are dimmed, and the doors on the streets are shut. When the sound of the grinding is low, and one rises up at the low voice of a bird, and all the daughters of song are brought low. They are afraid also of what is high, and terrors are in the way. The almond tree blossoms, the grasshoppers drag itself along the desire, along and desire fails. Because man goes to his eternal home, and the mourners go about the streets. Before the silver cord is snapped, or the golden bowl is broken, or the pitcher is broken at the fountain, or the wheel is broken at the cistern, and the dust returns to the earth as it was, and the spirit returns to God, who gave it vanity. Vanity of vanities, says the preacher, or is vanity, the word of the Lord. Respond for yourself. Oh Lord, you have been our from generation. You sweep them away like a dream, like grass which is fresh in the morning. In the morning it sprouts and is fresh, but even in it withers and fades. Oh Lord, you have been our refuge from generation to generation. You sweep them away like a dream like grass which is fresh in the morning. In the morning it sprouts and is fresh, but evening it withers and fades. Oh Lord, you have been our refuge from generation to generation. Then teach us to number our days, that we may gain wisdom of heart. Send back, O oh Lord, how long? Show pity to your servants. O oh Lord, you have been our refuge from generation to generation. A redeem from the First book of Corinthians. Now concerning what you wrote about the gifts from the Holy Spirit, I want you to know the truth about them, my brothers and sisters. You know what while you are still heaven, you are led astray in many ways to worship of lifeless idols. I want you to know that no one who is led by God's Spirit can say a curse on Jesus. And no one can confess Jesus is Lord without being guided by the Holy Spirit. There are different kinds of spiritual gifts, but the same Spirit gives them. There are different ways of saving, but the same Lord is saved. There are different abilities to perform services, but the same God gives ability to all for their particular service. The Spirit's presence is short in some way, in each person for the good of all. 
The spirit gives what a person a message from both his God. While to another person, the same spirit gives a message from knowledge. One the one and the same spirit gives faith to one person. While to another person, he gives the power to him. The spirit gives one person the power to be care of another the gift of speaking God's message. And to yet another, the ability to tell the difference between gifts that come from the Spirit and those that do not. To one person, he gives the ability to speak in strange tongues. And to another, he gives the ability to explain what he said. But it is one and the same Spirit. That's what it is. As he wishes, he gives a different gift to each person. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to George. If you love me, you will keep my commandments. And now ask the Father that he will give you another helper to be with you forever. The Spirit of truth whom the world cannot receive, because it neither sees him nor knows him. But you know him, for he is with you and will be in you. The Gospel of the Lord. Kukenga akabwita. Inonge nyambe. Concept ya mtinta chimuka. Lina mwewa. Taonga tembo. Chewe sakala. Roof banda. Chandangkole. Joy mafuta. Tumelo Sonia Naruba, Sarifianji Kunda, Janeti Kwenge, Kumkila Mtonga, and Taonga Tembo. So I'm now going to ask you some questions on which you are to respond with all your heart your mind and strength. If you fail to answer the following questions, then you'll be counted up. Okay? Because the questions, they are connected to one thing, to showing your faith. The first question is, what do you ask of God's church for? Yeah, I mean, it to the sacrament of baptism and holy communion. From that side, I don't know to hear. So I repeat the question. What do you ask of God's church for? We ask to be admitted to receive the sacrament of baptism and holy communion. What is the sacrament of baptism? Baptism is the washing away of original sins to be made a children of God and member of the church. I now turn to the godparents. Godparents. 
Are you ready to help these children in their duty as Christian as Christians? Yes. In receiving this sacrament, it is an assurance that each and every one of us is incorporated in the life of Christ. So in other ways, by receiving the sacrament of baptism, meaning that you receive an opportunity of living life anew. So you receive the life of Christ, a new life in Christ. In confirmation, they receive the Holy Spirit. They receive the gifts of the Holy Spirit. And these same gifts of the Holy Spirit, they are very important in the life of each and every one of us. First and foremost, they will receive seven gifts of the Holy Spirit, where we find the spirit of wisdom, the spirit of fortitude, the spirit of knowledge, and so on. So, they will have a special grace to discern what they have chosen and to live as people who have responsibility in the society. So in short, what we are saying, these children in one or the other, they have given them a new job, a responsibility, the job of announcing Jesus Christ wherever they will be, wherever they will be found. They have given them a new job. So at this moment, upon receiving these sacraments, if they were so quiet in witnessing and presenting Jesus Christ to others, this is the time now they have to speak out, to speak out and to live the truth. Because they, in receiving the Holy Spirit, they will receive the spirit of truth, the truth on which they are called, each and every one of them, is called to bearing 12 gifts of the Holy Spirit. So, we have seven fruits of the Holy Spirit, gifts of the Holy Spirit, and 12 fruits of the Holy Spirit, where we find love, peace, and joy, and so forth. They are all together 12 fruits of the Holy Spirit. So, upon receiving the Holy Spirit in the confirmation, they are called also to bear these fruits of the Holy Spirit. So wherever they will be, they will be called to speak the truth. So the truth, it is one of the 12 fruits of the Holy Spirit. And they will also be called to be in peace with others. If they were quarreling with others, they are now called to discern whatever they say. Because when you are called to be a Christian, you have this power that when you speak, what you speak has the power to destroy or to build. So each and every one of us has a duty as Christians, because by the virtue of our baptism and confirmation, we have a duty to meditate upon the scripture, upon the word of God, which is our instructions, the menu of our life. So what we speak, my brothers and sisters in Christ, before we speak whatever we are to speak, let us meditate. If it means talking, if it means acting, In that way, you will for sure bear witness to the workings and promptings of the Holy Spirit. So we pray through the intercession of Mary, our mother, as the church at large today, uh, also remembers Mary, our mother, on this Saturday. So we pray that through the intercession of Mary, our mother, each and every one of our girls will for sure understand the meaning of what they are receiving. May our God bless his word.
find it to believe in God? You sent your only son into the world to cast out the power of Satan, spirit of evil, to rescue man from the kingdom of darkness and bring him into the splendor of your kingdom of light. We pray for these children, set them free. From original sin, make them temples of your glory and send your Holy Spirit to dwell within them. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. We now invite the parents and the good parents to come forward. Dear parents and good parents, you have come here to present these children for baptism by water and the Holy Spirit. They are to receive the gift of new life from God, who is love. On your part, you must make it your constant care to bring them up in the practice of the faith. If your faith makes you ready to accept this responsibility, renew now your vows of your own baptism. Reject sin. Profess your faith in Jesus Christ. This is the faith of the church. This is the faith in which these children are about to be baptized. Do you reject sin so as to live in the freedom of God's children? Yes, I do. Do you reject the grammar of evil and refuse to be mastered by sin? Yes, I do. Now turn to professing our faith. Do you believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth? Yes, I do. Do you believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was born of the Virgin Mary, and was born, died, and buried, rose from the dead, and is now seated at the right hand of the Father? Yes, I do. This is our faith. This is the faith of the church. We are proud to profess it. Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior. So we now place the altar. Father, you give us a grace through sacramental signs, which tells of the wonders of your unseen power. In baptism, we use your gift of water, which you have made a rich symbol of, your, of the grace you give us in this sacrament. Set free from sin by baptism in the waters of the Jordan. Your son was baptized by John and anointed with the Spirit. After his resurrection, he told his disciples, go out and teach all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit.
children of God, you have become a new creation and have been clothed in Christ. See in this white garment the outward sign of your Christian dignity. With your family and friends, help you by word and example. Bring that dignity and stain into the everlasting life of heaven. Amen. So from teasing, this is the last part, okay? The Lord Jesus Christ made the deaf hear and the tongue speak. May he soon touch your ear to receive his word and your mouth to proclaim his faith, the praise and glory of God, the Father. <laughs> So now we we'll ask the newly baptized Christians to face the people so that they can congratulate you. At this moment in time, can the candidates for confirmation come forward? <laughs> Let us pray to the Father that he will pour out the Holy Spirit to strengthen his daughters with his gifts and anoint them to be more like Christ the Son of God. <laughs> Thank you. 
daughters and sons from sin and give them new life. Send your Holy Spirit upon them to be their helper and guide. Give them the spirit of wisdom and understanding, the spirit of right judgment and courage, the spirit of knowledge and reverence, Fill them with the spirit of wonder and awe in your presence. We ask this through Christ our Lord.
Thank you. 
We pray for the world. Give us discernment, wisdom, and strength that we may that we may oppose the many injustices of our time and be able to face and reject that come our way. Lord, hear us. Lord, we pray, Lord, that you may bring healing to all in need, invigorate those who are saddened or have been disappointed, restore life to the sick, the dying, and the grieving, inspire the addicted and the disabled, create life giving pathways for immigrants and all for all who are afflicted. Lord, hear us. Lord, we pray, us. Through the sacrament of baptism, Eucharist, and confirmation, we too, as disciples, sent out to live the gospel. We pray that through the example of our ways and actions, we may in our own lives be witnesses of the goodness of God our Father. Lord, hear us. Lord, Jesus, hear us. We pray that the good Lord who sent out the crew would today look down with mercy on his church and inspire our young men and women to join in the good work of spreading the holy gospel. Lord, hear us. Lord, gracious, hear us. For our companions on this journey of faith, for our families, friends, co-workers, and members of our community, thank you, my Lord. May hold us together in faithfulness to each other and unite our commitments to Christ, but to Christian values. Lord, hear us. Lord, gracious, hear us. We pray for ourselves who have received baptism, holy communion, and confirmation, that God may make us perfect witnesses of Christ. Lord, hear us. Lord, gracious, hear us. We pray for our priests, the sisters, and our parents who have traveled from various places to come and celebrate this special day with us, that you may guide them and send your guidance, guardian angels to, to be with them. Lord, hear us. Lord, For the prisoners, we pray that the Lord may be with them, guide them, and protect them, and that He may help them turn away from their sins. Lord, hear us. Lord, gracious, hear us. We pray with Mary, Mother of Jesus. Hear Mary. Full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed the fruit around us. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners. In silence, we make our petitions to God our Father. Lord, hear us. Lord, gracious, hear us.
brethren, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God the Almighty Father. Receive with favor, O Lord, we pray, the offerings of your people, heavenly mysteries, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right, right and justice, our duty and our salvation. Always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For he is the true and eternal priest who instituted the pattern of an everlasting sacrifice and was the, f the first to offer himself as the saving victim, commanding us to make this offering as his memorial. As we eat the his flesh that was sacrificed for us, we are made strong and we and as we drink his blood that was poured out for us we are washed clean and so with angels and archangels with thrones and dominions and with all the host and powers of heaven we see the, the glory and without end we are clean you are holy indeed O lord the fount of all holiness, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. When supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The Mystery of Faith Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly, we pray that, partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring us to the fullness of charity together with Francis our Pope and Benjamin our Bishop and all the creation. 
Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and who have died in your mercy, or come them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us, so we pray that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Blessed Joseph, our spouse, the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints of pleased you throughout the ages, may merit to be coheres to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. And with him and in him, our Almighty Father, in the unit of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Dearly beloved, these children have been reborn in baptism. They are now called the children of God, for so indeed he is. In confirmation, they will receive the fullness of God's Spirit. In all communion, they will share the banquet of Christ's sacrifice calling God his Father in the midst of the church. In the name of these children, in the spirit of our common sonship, let us pray together in the words of our Lord Jesus Christ that he has given us. As we say, our Father, Temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and self from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior Jesus Christ. For the, For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant our peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lord. I am not faith in it to shake and my soul shall be May the body and blood of Christ keep us safe for eternal life. <laughs>
We thank the parish priest, Father Hendrix Nkonga, the school chaplain, Father Lloyd Chipano, Brother Chota, and the religious sisters for guiding all the religious activities, letters and Catholic instructions. We thank the priests from other parishes who have come to celebrate with us today. We thank our head teacher, Sister Simba, and her administration. I also thank myself and my fellow learners for choosing to listen to God and following our desires, and for all of us who have received the sacrament. Let us practically live our lives according to what we have been told. Thank you. So at this moment in time, I just stand in honor to thank God our Father for guiding all the activities, for making it possible, as I said in the introduction, for each and every one of us to celebrate this uh, Mass in Amon and Peace. And secondly, I'd like to thank the parish priest, Father Hendrik Sinkonka, for allowing each and every one of us to gather at this place, in this territory. You know, the church as island. So where we are, someone else is in charge. So the parish priest is in charge of this territory. And he, allowed, he made it possible that we may gather here in this manner. He allowed us as the school. So with that, Father, and I ask each and every one of you to continue praying for him. That the good Lord may continue flourishing in his life, in his ministry as the parish priest. We also thank Father Eustace Kawen, he's my group mate. I, with the, the priest you are able to see here. Okay, so the, the priest you are able to see, Father Eustace. Is my group mates. We started together the journey in Mufrila, and then we went for the studies and we came back together and we are all priests. He's the director of music. I he likes music. So thank you, Father, for coming for accepting the invitation. He has come all the way from Mufrila. So thank you, Father, may the God do good Lord for you blessing you. Okay, and thirdly, 
without the administration of uh, top eight girls, including the head teacher, the deputy, and all the staff members. Thank you for your kindness. The girls have, have been prepared because of your guidance and your tolerance. So for this reason, we thank you and we assure you of our prayers. Be just assured that the good Lord may continue to guide you and blessing you in a special way. <clears throat> and also, I'd like to thank the executive of St. Anton in Samba Parish. Okay? I cannot forget to thank them because they collaborate with me, the parish priest, for allowing us. They collaborated and they all collaborate in all the activities of this parish. So they also accepted that it is good and it is okay for that function to be held where it has been held. Thank you and we continue praying for you. And also, we thank in a special way the choir members sent the all the men choir. I wanted to give you the, the name of the saints, but I remember that you are the main choir, including Saint Cecilia and whatever, whatever isn't it? Yeah. So then we thank you so much for your kindness and for your openness for accepting the invitation. Be rest assured of our prayers. I mean, I decided that I could only spot him for more. We have a parish, we have a better, now, Maka, we can do that. So, what do you think? As I said last year, but not the least, I'd like to thank all the parents, all the guardians who have come all the way from Lusaka, Kintwe, Lola, Mufrida, Sowesi. Your presence has been significant. I know I've, I've forgotten some of the towns, but you are all included. Eh? So, wherever you have come from, only God himself knows, and wherever you got the logistics for making it possible that you made it this far, may the good Lord himself continue guiding you and granting all your heart's desires. Amen. In a special way, to thank Brother Brother Maxwell Chota, who took his time in his pastoral at this uh, parish, St. Anton, who gave his time and shared his time to our girls. So he had a program of instructing them, and he never missed, not even a day. Isn't he? So, brother, may our God continue guiding you and blessing you that as you are undergoing the priestly training that you may also reach to the final destination and that tomorrow you may become the priest. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God Continue blessing you and guiding you in everything that you do. The Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Go forth, the Mass is ended.